the look. Good morning. Hi, good morning, Hulisa. I heard you say earlier you love a kooky collection. I sure do. Yes, you do. And I know you generally solicit for kooky collections. This is one. <laughs> let's meet Grace here. Grace, thank you for letting Hi, us Grace. into your home. You're most welcome, Ashley. Hi. Well, let me start by saying this. Grace is a former second grade teacher, so we automatically love her even more. like. I mean, my favorite teacher was in second grade, so I'm just saying we love Grace here. Now, take a look around. There's Santas everywhere, but what I love about your collection, Grace, is it is perfectly placed, perfectly situated. It's not over. Overwhelming. It just kind of came together. Uh, I have so many. I try to balance them with size and shape and sure. colors and intermix them. Now, when did your collection start? When did you start collecting Santa? Probably about 30 years ago when my oldest son gave me uh, a bell for Christmas. <laughs> and since then, the other boys gave me Santas from time to time, and it just grew from there. I gotta tell you, it's probably that's easy to buy things happens. for Grace because we could just get you a Santa Claus. Exactly. Now, that's let's talk about one of your favorite Santas. This is a Russian Santa. Why is this your favorite? Uh, I saw it when I was in Alaska in Skagway. I saw it, and it just appealed to me, the uh, details in the paint on the uh, Santa. Yeah. And, and how, well, how many Santas do you have? We're going to actually make our way through the house. How many Santas do you say uh, you, you would Between have? 300 and 350. Oh, yeah, 350. that's all. Now, I asked her, I said, <laughs> where do <laughs> just 350, no biggie, no biggie. I said, where do you store all this? They're getting ready to build a shed of just to, nice. like, house all the Santas in Santa the backyard. Shed. Okay, we're going to keep walking. You Not only do you have Santas throughout your entire home, but you have an entire, like, an entirely separate outdoors area. So we're going to take a look. Now, in this room, Room, how do you have it decorated? Obviously, the scent is everywhere, but it's it's again nicely displayed. Uh, I have the bookcases, and I acquired a number of Santas just this year, oh. and I needed another place to put them, <laughs> so I arranged them on the uh, in the shelves. Okay. Okay, now, so you guys see this clock up here. At the top of every hour, a Christmas song plays. That's oh, cute. lovely. That's, That's correct. That's, That's awesome. I didn't know it when I bought it. I brought it home and put the batteries in it. And the first time I heard it, uh -huh. it surprised me. I didn't know it was going to do that. Yeah, so now, aside from people gifting you Santas, where do you also pick up uh, these items? I go to a lot of craft fairs. Okay. Uh, and I see them there. I go to yard sales and thrift stores. Okay. This is lovely. This is beautiful. Now, Grace, earlier you guys offered me a cup of coffee, and I was going to accept, and then I noticed her coffee maker was just a normal coffee maker. So I said, you need a Santa coffee maker. You have yet to search for one. So the hunt is on. If you guys see a Santa coffee maker, please let us know. We'll We'll deliver it back over to Grace. How's that sound? That sounds great, Ashley. Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> 350, you guys, throughout this entire home. Awesome. An entirely separate shed to have to house all these Santas. Santa That's shed. Nice. That's yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Santa. All right, guys, back over to you. I believe uh, some goals have just been made. On I, both sides uh, right, of right. <laughs> A Santa shed. They're really.